Right, so the definition of reptile, according to Merriam-Webster, is a groveling or despised person. However, there is another kind of reptile, the scaly kind. Reptiles are classified very ambiguously as any air-breathing vertebrate, poikilothermic scaled animal. Most of those words are self-explanatory, though it is unlikely you know what poikilothermic means. Poikilothermic means that the animal's body temperature is variable depending on environmental conditions. It is mischaracterized as cold-blooded when in fact it often leads to the animal's blood being hotter than a human's. In addition to reptiles not technically being cold-blooded, another common misconception includes the fact that not all reptiles lay eggs. Some do, but many high-profile species, such as some snakes and worms, give birth to live young rather than laying an egg. Bonus fun fact! Larger reptiles, like crocodiles and sea turtles, have a condition known as gigantothermy. This is a variation of poikilothermy, where larger reptiles have a significant easier time maintaining a temperature. Their internal temperature fluctuates far less than a small snake or lizard would. So when I was looking for pictures in this one, I accidentally typed in US government lizard, and wow, that gave me some interesting images. Thank you.